Hey everyone, this is a quick video to help you um, put up your page for submitting your final version of Project 1. Okay, so you'll notice here's the Project 1 assignment prompt, and I've added the grading criteria down here, and in the grading criteria you're starting to get some uh, requests for what, how you need to submit this. So you're going to submit this as a new page, a new page, not a new blog post, a new page in your uh, wiki course website. Uh, so what you're probably going to want to do is grab this stuff here that says the following submission policies. And I'm going to grab the stuff that's saying, you know, my name and stuff like that that I want. So I'm going to my wiki website. This is like yours. I'm going to create a page. I'm going to call the page project number one. That's what I would call it. And create the page. And it comes up in edit mode. I'm going to paste in that material that I wanted. So just so I have it there. So it says I want, it wants my name, the date. So what is today? 14th. Class section. So that's a five digit number that you'll need to look up. Assignment name. You can call it project one. And project title. So I don't have a title for mine yet, but I give you how you're going to title it. Okay, so I got all that information that I needed. So I'm going back here and I'm going to copy the other stuff that it's requiring. So it's requiring provide a title using the following format. So I give you a format for your title. So it's comparing study guides for, and my topic is, this one's studying with multiple sources, and this one's using references. So I'm going to say studying with outside sources. That, to me, sums it up. Um, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to center. Whoop, there we go. I'm going to center my title. I'm also going to highlight it and make it bold. There we go. And then. It says, provide appropriately titled links to online study guides that I'm comparing. Because the, the reader of this, remember the scenario is that a bunch of you would be sharing these, which you are in the class. The reader of this would um, want those links. So again, I'm going to delete this so I get to start from scratch. I think the easiest way to do the links, let me get back, is to do it with bullets. And so I'm literally going to come over here, and this one is called Studying with Multiple Sources. So I'm going to grab the URL or the web address, go back to my page, type in the title, Studying with Multiple Sources, highlight the title, click Link up here at the top, click Web Address over here on the left because I'm linking it to something external to the site, paste in that URL or web address, and there's my link to my first one. Then I'm going to go to my second one. My second one is called Using Reference sor Sources. And Using Reference Sources. I'm going to highlight that, click Link, go to Web Address, click Paste. And there I have started the document that in the format that I want you to turn it in. And then after that, you're just going to paste in the three to four paragraphs for your project number one. I'm going to click Save. And that is how you will make your project number one page.